How's it going to all you travelers out there? Today we're in North Carolina at Clingman's Dome. We're gonna be taking a hike up to the observation tower. Stop by the store, maybe get a souvenir. You can scramble on the rocks when you first get here. The top of the Smokies, 6,643 feet. That's where we're going. We're gonna go ahead and move on. All right, so the Clingman Domes Trail. So to the Dome Tower, 0.5 miles. We're gonna bypass the store for now. There seems to be a line at every entrance. All right, here's the trail to the top. Half a mile to the top. You can see why they call it the Smoky Mountains. Can't even see where you're going. Here's one of the nice benches you can rest at. Lots of cool rock formations though. All right, I think we're coming up on it here. So here's what you're gonna see. Lots of people. And I think we'll be walking up to that dome right up there. So let's go on up. We're gonna get a real good view of the fog up here. Made it to the top. There's the wrap around. Wow. Klingman's Dome. All the way down. People come to Klingman's Dome to experience the 360 degree view, but how does the view today compare to the centuries ago? We really don't know, but we do know the haze largely caused by air pollution can greatly diminish your view. Records show that during the last half of the 20th century, the average distance it is possible to see decreased by about 40% in the winter and 80% in the summer. On a typical hazy day, to the left, what we're seeing, sort of, views can be disappointing, like today. Distant features like Pigeon Forge are completely lost from view. Air pollution in the Smoky Mountains comes mostly from the northwest and southwest, and sometimes from the east. Pollutants arrive from both local and distant sources. Weather patterns dictate how sources change over time. The Western View. Looking west, you can track the course of the North Carolina-Tennessee boundary. Through most of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, the state boundary also marks the course of the Appalachian Trail, which passes just below this tower. The trail leaves the boundary near Gregory Bald, cutting southward towards Shustak. One of the longest footpaths in the world, the Appalachian Trail extends more than 2,100 miles between Georgia and Maine. In the spring, northbound through hikers who are attempting the entire trail usually pause here to enjoy the view. At 6,643 feet, Klingman's Dome is the trail's highest point. The Appalachian Trail's highest altitude and some of its most spectacular views occur in the Smokies. We are here. Okay, here's the eastern view. On a clear day, you can see Mount Mitchell, the highest peak in the eastern United States, 73 miles away in North Carolina's Black Mountains. Can you see Mount Mitchell today? Um, no. Clear days can allow views that exceed 100 miles. On other days, visibility can be cut drastically, either by clouds or by severe haze, which is caused mainly by pollution. For decades, visitors have enjoyed views from here on Klingman's Dome, the highest peak in the Smokies, 6,643 feet. This high point is named for Thomas Lanier Klingman, one of several explorers who studied and measured North Carolina's mountains in the 1850s. Before the present concrete observation tower was completed in 1960, view seekers climbed a wooden tower right to enjoy the vista from Klingman's Dome. Workers, far right, put finishing touches on the ramp wall of the new tower in 1959. Here it is. 
The workers putting the finishing touches on the wall. All right, here's the southern view. Notice the forest that surrounds this tower. This is a spruce fir forest comprised mostly of red spruce and Fraser fir. It is a forest under stress. The dead trees you see are Fraser fir, victims of a European insect. Another threat with far broader effects comes from the air. This park receives the highest sulfur and nitrogen deposits from acid precipitation found in any national park. It is most severe at higher elevations. The average acidity of rain and snow here is five to 10 times greater than natural precipitation. This acid fallout damages park soil, streams, plants, and animals. I think that's all the signs. All right, that's Klingman's Dome. Let's say goodbye and walk back down. Tried to read over top of them. I hope everyone could hear that narration. But now we're on our way back down. And there's the bottom. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed Klingman's Dome. Make sure you get out and explore the great outdoors in 2021 and beyond.